Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dayana and I'm a gaming content creator on Twitch. I am also a modding addict of a lifetime. I am so utterly and entirely obsessed with modding that it's not even funny. I have over a thousand plus Sims 4 mods, over a thousand plus Skyrim mods, the list goes on. So with that said, I decided it would be very fun to make this modding tutorial for Baldur's Gate 3 since this is my new latest obsession. There are a couple things that you're going to need for this. All of the links will be in the description below. You're going to need Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, you're going to need Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Fixer, and you're going to need the said mod that you're wishing to install. Now, I would heavily recommend that you install Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager on the same drive that you have your Baldur's Gate 3 game installed. So for example, if you have this on your C drive, I would recommend installing this Mod Manager on your C drive as well. Just make sure that it's on the same drive as your Baldur's Gate game to avoid any form of conflict that might occur. Also, you are going to need a program like WinRAR on your computer just so that it can read the files that you're going to be installing from the mods. First thing is first, you have to install Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. This is a link that I use specifically for mine. Pretty much just read the instructions, go down to Assets, and hit Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager latest zip and download this. Now that this has been downloaded, if you are installing this to your C drive, make a separate folder for it outside of program files and your user files. With that said, all of my games and everything like this are on my E drive, so I simply dragged it from my downloads folder right here. These are the contents of Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, which you should now have installed on your PC. Next up, you're going to need Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Fixer. What does this do? It pretty much makes mods work with Baldur's Gate 3. As it says here, this pack forces a story to recompile, allowing pack mods to work with the full release of Baldur's Gate 3. Pack mods are essentially the file type in which the mods are created for Baldur's Gate 3. You're going to go ahead and hit manual download here and slow download. Once your mod fixer download is done, we're going to go ahead and head on into Windows C. And we're going to go to users, your name. We're going to go to app data, local. We're going to look for Larian Studios and Baldur's Gate 3. Now there should be a mod folder here in which we're going to click on this and go ahead and drag from our downloads mod fixer pack right here which we can just open the folder and take the pack file and drag it on here into the mod folder now that that's taken care of we can install mods seamlessly so let's go ahead and take a look at this when you're installing mods of any kind, I heavily recommend that you read the installation instructions. If any mod for Baldur's Gate tells you to use at your own discretion, or that it could mess up your game or ruin your save files, I personally do not recommend using a mod like that. So just to be safe, make sure that you take a gander and read before you install something. With that said, most visual mods are completely fine to install mid-playthrough, though if they recommend that you start a new playthrough for it, then just listen to the modder they made the mod they know best. I don't recommend installing heavily scripted mods such as gameplay altering mods mid playthrough because that can really bork your game. So here in the installation instructions, it says download the mod, unzip the archive and drag the .pack file into your mods folder, launch the mod manager, drag the mod. We're gonna be doing all of this right here, right now. So I'm gonna go to files and I'm just going to hit manual download. Slow download as well. So once this is installed, I have it here in my downloads and I'm going to keep this little tab open here. Now we're going to navigate back to where we just were in our Baldur's Gate 3 mods in our user app data section of Larian Studios in Baldur's Gate 3. And we're going to just go ahead and drag astralhaircolors.pack right in here. You don't need to worry about the info.json file or any of your mods. Now that this is here, the mod is installed in our mod folder. Now we can exit these and launch Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. Mine is right here, so I'm going to go ahead and launch this. Alright, so what you're going to want to do here is drag Astral Hair Colors or whatever you just installed over from the right hand section to the left hand section. You can hit save load order to file if you so choose. We can just do that for the sake of everything. And we're going to go ahead and hit export load order to game. Your entire load order has been exported to the game and you can launch it. Your mods should be installed and they should be working seamlessly now. So just to double check, we can go ahead and go into my game and I will show you. When you do install a few mods, you will get this error message. However, most of the time it really doesn't mean anything. So you can just hit escape and move past it, escape and accept. 
I'm going to go to Edit Appearance, and we have mods installed. Let's go ahead and see if the one that we just installed is active and working, which was a hair color changer. So, hair colors. We have got a lot more now. <laughs> so, everything should be working seamlessly, and you shouldn't be having any problems. If you're having problems, you most likely did not install the mod correctly, you probably missed a step, or you don't have mod fixer, or something along those lines. I do have one more note to add. Make sure that you update your mods whenever Baldur's Gate 3 has an update, otherwise things can get ruined and wonky, and you really don't want to have to deal with that. Anyways, that's about it. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to anybody who was wondering how to mod Baldur's Gate 3, or maybe was confused at any point in time. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Hope that you take care, and I'll see you in the next one.